Guys, it's Julia. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to repair Windows boot errors. So, for example, I have my laptop right here, so we're going to hit the power button. And you get something very similar to this that says that your PC device needs to be repaired. This says the application or operating system cannot or could not be loaded because the required file is missing or contains errors. My Windows System 32 winload.efi error code 0xc0000225. So we need to use recovery tools. If you have installation media like a disk or USB contact or administrator or whatever. But the thing is, you can easily download a Windows ISO or Windows USB. I made a Windows 10 USB with the media creation tool. So we can just use this thing to help us. So we have this error saying you don't know what to do. You push up, you push enter. You can't get past it. Nothing's working. You're just like, oh no. And like, even if you try to try to shut down thinking, oh, maybe it was just a bad startup. And then you're gonna try to push the button again, which in a case, it can be true. It could just be a bad startup. But we reboot and boom, we're right back to the same air again. And we, we, we can't do anything. I'm saying it says to push F8 for startup. We get nothing. Same thing. And escape is just UEFI firmware settings. That's not gonna help either. So I don't even know what that's even gonna do. Take us to the BIOS probably. Um, but we don't wanna go there, so. Okay, so you're gonna need Windows installation media, the Windows disk or USB, preferably the same version of Windows your computer runs. Mine runs Windows 10. So I have this Windows 10 USB. 64 and 32 bit is on this, which I do have, um, I have I have 64 bit, so we're gonna stick that in here. Now this error could happen due to corrupt files such as corrupted BCD or corrupted bootloader, boot up files. So I'll show you a few methods to help us here. So we're gonna do control delete to reboot. And you might have to push like F9 on HP to get up to the boot menu, but as you can see, we already have options because I have it already configured in the BIOS to boot up straight to USBs or CDs when they're inserted, so they'll just automatically boot up to that USB or DVD that I inserted since I programmed it like that, so it saves us trouble. We just plug in the USB and boot it up and it boots right up to it. So you can see that we have the HP logo here and the computer is starting to the USB. So in this case, where you get to this screen, so, is what you're gonna do now to make your your life's easier? Yeah, you could hit next and go to repair your computer and go there, but you can also push Shift and F10 together, and you can pop up a command prompt, which makes your life easier. So you can see we got a command prompt by just pushing, holding Shift and then push F10 as you're holding Shift, but saying, "Well, let's just go the old-fashioned way, just in case the command prompt doesn't work." So you go to repair your computer and it's loading. Okay, so we're to this screen. We're gonna go to troubleshoot, and we're gonna do a few commands in the command prompt, but if those do fail, which they might, I don't know, you're gonna need to go to start prepare and see if it can help you replace the bootloader, because it looks like this is a bootloader issue, but it could be a BCD issue too, even though it doesn't have, usually it will have the BCD error, but in this case it doesn't, so, I really don't know what the problem is here. It just wouldn't boot. Corrupted probably because the computer was RD'd and all kinds of stuff. So, okay, so we're to our command prompt. We're gonna type, well, I, I would start with boot rec slash, like, try fix boot first to fix the boot sector. You can do boot rec slash fix MBR, but I'm pretty sure this is not an MBR issue here, so that's probably not gonna help since the MBR is fine, pretty much. But we're gonna do this one. This one's gonna be very important. Um, boot rec slash rebuild BCD. I don't know if this is gonna work, but it just might. So I'm going to try this and see if this works. I don't know if this is gonna if this is gonna work, it could if it's a corrupted BCD file. If it's not, then no. Okay, successfully scan Windows installations. Told to identify Windows installations too, that's good. And then 
One, D windows. Add installation of boot list. Well, that's our windows partition, so I think I'm gonna say yes. Then it says D windows.old slash windows. And windows.old, we don't want our old version, so we're gonna hit N and hit enter because we don't wanna add the dot old because it's gonna confuse it and it's not gonna wanna boot. So it looks like it repaired something in the BCD here. So hopefully we should be able to boot by how this is looking. It looks like it prepared something since it says the operation completed successfully. But it could have a glitch where it says zero installations it completed successfully and that obviously doesn't do anything. So if you add something to the boot list that's like D windows or C windows or something like that, then chances are I think you just fixed your problem. So if that doesn't work though, you could go back um, to troubleshoot and go to start prepare and run one of those and hopefully it'll help you. If that doesn't work, you can go, go jump into system restore and do a restore point to like when it was working to the date it was working. So do those two if they don't work. Like try, try the commands, they don't work. Go to start repair, that doesn't work. Go to system restore and if that doesn't work, I would do a reset. You could reset and keep your files if you want your stuff, or you could just reset and wipe everything. And if you have Windows 8 or 8.1, they have refresh, which resets it, but keeps your files. But in 10, it's all just reset and keep your files or reset and basically dump it all. So we're gonna hit turn off since there's no restart in this menu. So once it shuts off, we're going to pull out the USB. So take that out. Now hopefully we shouldn't get winload.exe is missing or dot, not .exe, .efi. Well, other computers and maybe .exe, the ones that are not UEFI based. Okay, so did we fix our problem? If we don't see that screen and we see HP, then we did. So let's just see, oh, yup. Would you look at that? It looks, that looks totally different. That looks like a normal boot up right here. This looks 100% normal. So, we just fixed our problem. Isn't that great? Now, I still don't understand why it wasn't a BCD error and why it was. Okay, a video stopped, but I don't know why it was that. But we should be able to start up now. This is for my phone because my iPod ran out of memory. So, yeah, because I recorded like a 30 minute video wobble. So, that might explain why it's running out of storage. Okay, but we got our mouse and our loading logo for the video. But the reason why we had the loading thing and we still have the mouse, it's a glitch in the anniversary update of Windows 10, and it always does that. I don't know why. I think it's. I don't know why, it, it does that though in the anniversary update. It's really weird, but it's normal. But if you do not have the update, I would get it though for security reasons to have better security. It's always good to have all the latest Windows updates. Yeah, that's that little glitch, but that's really not bad. It's not a bad glitch, it's a good glitch. Okay, so we're back, which I'm gonna end up reinstalling windows on this computer but i just wanted to show like make a video on how to repair like a scenario if it wouldn't start up you know because i know some people may not want to reinstall and they just want to fix their computer without having to reinstall windows from scratch and i can understand because it's a it's a lot of work so i can understand why you guys would not want to reinstall unless you're like really good at it and have done it several times like me but I find all these workarounds to repairing windows, and I always repair it, so we just repaired that issue. So pretty much those commands will help you for any non-booting computer. However, one time in my other video when I fixed a non-booting computer, I had to do check disk slash R, I think. I think I had to do check disk slash R slash F and whatever, because the restore I tried to run wouldn't work and the reason why was because the hard drive was corrupt, corrupt files. Um, that happened in an earlier video but also I had to run the check disk on a Windows XP machine that had unmountable boot volume which is how you fix that. It's just a corrupted file system. 
So you may have to run the check dis slash r, which is chkdsk space in the same slash I think you used for the other command, and then r. And you also could do a space and do slash f as well, which will help. So yeah, our computer's back, but you could see, look at all my icons. They're just, some of them just don't even have icons, and the ones that even do, don't launch. So it's kind of bad. This is kind of corrupt, and I can't get the Wi-Fi to connect either, so... Uh, planning on reinstalling, that's why I kind of messed it up, but now I'm fixing things to show you guys how to fix that kind of stuff. So I should do a video next on how to reinstall Windows, so... Alright, thanks for watching guys. If none of that works, you can always go to install now and just delete all the partitions, do a fresh install. Make sure you get all the drivers and Windows updates first before you do anything else and you're good. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye for now. Hope that helped.